So Chrome version 72 just rolled out some new exciting ES10 that is ES2019 features into its browser for developers to use. So let's take a look at what new features do we have in ES10 to look for. Starting off with flat and flat map. So if you have an array like this, you could see you could just console log this and you have a bunch of nested arrays. So if you want to flatten this whole array, you have to use recursion or you know you have to some, use some sort of algorithm. Well, fortunately, now JavaScript provides it by default by making use of dot flat, which would recursively flatten your array up to the level you specify. So flat just specify just levels it flattens it to one level. If you do it twice, it would flatten it to two levels. If you want to flatten the whole array, you could pretty much just pass an infinity here and it will flatten your whole array from nested arrays to a clean array. Similarly, we do have flat map, which works pretty much just like map. If you do map X and return, let's say X comma X times two. And if you console log your result, you're going to see that you get a array which looks some, something like this nested but if you're gonna make use of flat map here you're gonna get a nice flatted array for your result coming to number two we have object dot from entries which basically you know from object dot entries we could go ahead and create these nice little key value pairs of arrays of key value key value right but now you could just go ahead and get your original object back from this particular array by using object from entries and if you console log your object original object you're gonna see that we get our key value object back to us again this brings us to our number three which is our trim start and trim end so if you have a string which has long spaces you could just go ahead and do console.long string.trim start and hit save you're gonna see actually let's just json dot stringify this so that we are able to see the spaces so you see only our backspaces remain similarly if you have trim end right here you're gonna see only your front spaces remain and if you just have trim right here you're gonna see all your spaces are gone this brings us to our optional binding for try catch that pretty much means now you're not constraint to give catch an error right here if you don't want it so if you throw a new error here right you could pretty much access it right here using error but if somehow you do not want it you're free to just go ahead and make use of something like hey something went wrong right so this is completely fine es9 also revises the function dot do string method so if you have a function my function here and if you do console.log of my function dot to string, what you're gonna see is your original source code of that particular function. Earlier, these white spaces, these new lines, if you had any comments here, these would be removed when you do console.log my function dot to string. But now they are retained and you pretty much get back your original source code of the function which you have written. Coming back to the next proposal, that is symbol.descriptionGetter. So recently, earlier, what you have to do is if you want to compare a symbol, you have to convert it into a string and then compare it via symbol and then whatever your description was, right? Because if you take a look at the symbol right here, you're gonna see that it basically just is a symbol. But now what you could do is access the symbol.description with the symbol description and you could check that if this is equal to your description which was originally passed and you can see this returns as true and if you take a look at the description it is my symbol yeah so that is all for a quick update for es 2019 if you like this video don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon and uh, i'll see you then in the next video